Oh boy, disclaimer! Welcome, one and all, to Banderson's Treehouse of Horror Countdown Review. Continue watching, if you dare. <laughs> Treehouse of Horror 5 is the best Treehouse of Horror episode. Case closed. Okay, fine, I guess I should explain why it's the best. Sadly, this is the first Treehouse episode to not include a wraparound story arc. Instead, we just get the intro and the three segments. Apparently there was meant to be one, but the writers dropped it in favour of giving more time to each segment, which I can understand. Still, the intro is good fun. Marge does her usual think of the children's speech before saying that Congress won't let them air the episode for being too scary. Instead, they air a fictional western film called 200 Miles to Oregon, before Bart takes over the broadcast in a similar style to The Outer Limits. This is one of the best intro segments to a Treehouse episode ever. It's funny, but also eerie. Huge praise to Nancy Cartwright for managing to make Bart sound so unnerving during the intro. The visuals are great too, Mo hanging himself only for his eyes to reopen, Patty and Selma being burned at the stake, Bart beheading Principal Skinner, and the beautiful graveyard imagery. Just perfect. The Shinning is without question one of the greatest Treehouse segments of all time. It's constantly acclaimed as the greatest and it's really hard to argue against the fact, mainly because it's perfect. Take Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, replace Jack Nicholson with Homer, and what you get is perfection. Again, the characters just fit into their roles perfectly here. Homer going crazy because Mr Burns removed the cable and beer from the lodge is the best possible way they could have gone about making this. There's just so much great stuff in this segment, it's a struggle to know where to start. Visually, it's wonderful. The cliffside road, the looming lodge, the cinematography, the dark animation, it all blends together so well. The scene where Marge discovers Homer's insane wall scribblings is one of the best animated scenes I've ever seen. Not just in The Simpsons, but ever. The lighting illuminating the room sends chills down your spine. Speaking of chills, the writers really up the scares here. Seeing Homer's descent into madness is scarier than Nicholson's for Christ's sake. He takes an axe to Willie's back. He kills someone. I know in Dar Z for Zombies he went on a shooting spree, but that was to save his family. Here, he's trying to kill them. We see him chase them through the snow with an axe. Seeing his family desperately trying to flee in the deep snow as he slowly catches up is one of the most iconic treehouse moments of all time. But what about the comedy? Oh, don't worry, it's got plenty of laughs too. Even the opening moments are treated to some true comedy brilliance. Mr Burns saying he owes Smithers a coke if the family is slaughtered when they return is devilishly funny. Seeing Mo being happy, happy, happy as a ghost is great fun too. And the self-aware comedy is fantastic. You've got the shining. You mean shining. Shh. You wanna get sued? However, I would argue that the funniest thing about this segment is Marge's nonchalant attitude towards the whole thing. Mom, is Dad gonna kill us? We're just gonna have to wait and see. Bitch, your husband could murder you and your kids, and that's all you have to say about it? Her best line is this, though. <sighs> this is less encouraging. Yeah, you don't say. Still, it's nice that Marge gets such a big presence in this segment. There's also plenty of subtle references, such as Maggie spelling Red Rum with her building blocks and the ghouls who drag Homer out of the pantry. They even got Pinhead in there! Do I even need to bother telling you what I'm going to give this one? 10 out of 10, easily. Its balance of comedy and horror is on point and it's one of the best Simpsons parodies ever made. A true masterpiece. Time travel is a fun concept. Because it doesn't exist, the human imagination is limitless with the possibilities of time travel. And time and punishment proves it. The segment begins with Homer getting his hand stuck in the toaster, breaking it in the process. Homer fixes it and in doing so creates a time machine that takes him back to the prehistoric period. And of course, this leads to disastrous results as Homer, despite not meaning to, always manages to incidentally change the future. This segment is easily the funniest of the episode. Like I said, the possibilities of this premise are endless. For example, he finds himself in the perfect world. Well, almost perfect. Marge, dear, would you kindly pass me a donut? Donut? What's a donut? Ah! 
If only he'd stayed around for a few extra seconds. Groundskeeper really tries to help Homer find his own world, only for Maggie to kill him with an axe in the back. Sounds familiar. We also see the return of James Earl Jones here. This is indeed a disturbing universe. Classic. The best scenario, however, is where Flanders is somehow the unquestioned ruler of the world. Seeing Flanders in a villain's role always works well. It's true that opposites attract. Other funny moments include whenever Homer is in the prehistoric period. It's funny just how many times he accidentally manages to screw things up. And seeing him at his wick's end and just smashing everything is also hilarious. But what about scares? Surely a segment about time travel can't be that terrifying. Join us, Father. It's bliss. Jesus! Okay, that's the only scary moment in the segment, but it's more than enough. We are literally seeing zombified Simpsons characters carrying around a segment of their brain. Flanders is a twisted fuck. The visual of Homer going through time is well animated and we even get a cameo from Peabody and Sherman. Kangodas also turn up as well. Even the ending is great with Homer just cutting his losses and realising he's the closest to his world as he can be. I'll give Time and Punishment a 9 out of 10. Sure it's not overly scary but it makes up for it in comedy. I think overall the segment is very clever and a lot of imagination was used and it does feel like a great adventure. If they were to make this into a full 22 minute episode I honestly wouldn't complain. Oh boy, you want the horror part of Treehouse of Horror? Well with this segment, you've got it. With Springfield Elementary School's detention number rising and the cafeteria's meat predicament dire, the teachers of the school have the perfect solution. Kill all the kids in detention and make them into delicious food. How very Soylent Green of you. Seriously though, this segment is scary. Not only is it the scariest segment of the episode, but I'd argue it's the scariest of all the Treehouse segments. It's horrifying! We slowly see the teachers go from trying to solve a solution to getting hungrier and hungrier for the taste of human flesh. Seeing all the kids locked up in small cages, knowing their eventual fate is unnerving as all hell. The visuals are also once again brilliant with the teachers being made to look terrifying. Shout out to lunch lady Doris who is easily the creepiest looking of the lot. She's literally coated in blood and looks psychotic. And the violence is top notch. Maybe it's my inner sociopath speaking, but I love the lashings of blood in this segment. If there was one thing this segment failed in, however, it would be the comedy. Sure, it had its funny moments, but the horror definitely took centre stage here. Still, we get yet another failed attempt from Willie trying to save the day. Ugh, I'm bad at this. Pure gold. But the most tense part is the ending. Bart, Lisa and Milhouse try to make a run for it, only for the teachers to trap them between themselves and a giant freaking blender. Just look at this animation as the teachers close in. This is pant wetting levels of scary, and you think they're gonna make it, but nope, Millhouse gets blended before Bart and Lisa all sink the tumble. And then Bart wakes up revealing that it was all a dream. Fuck's sake. I'll admit that was a bit of a cop out, but they did soon make up for it with the fog that turns people inside out. Again, the animation here is brilliant, and to end things, we get a lovely song and dance number from an inside out Simpson family. And Groundskeeper Willie. This really was his shining episode. Also, Santa's little helper attacks Bart and drags away his bloody body. Fuck me. I'll go 9 out of 10 simply because of how gruesome and scary it was. This is easily the treehouse segment with the biggest balls. There's a reason this episode is considered to be the best treehouse or horror episode ever made. Because it is. I really wanted to find something I hated about this episode, but I just couldn't find one. I wanted to be able to call myself different and not jump on the bandwagon, but sometimes that bandwagon is just worth jumping onto. All three segments are a fantastic watch and really capture the imagination these episodes strive for. Yeah, The Shinning is the best segment, but Time and Punishment and Nightmare Cafeteria are also brilliant and shouldn't be snuffed. Hell, they would be the best segments in most other Treehouse episodes. I'm giving Treehouse of Horror a 10 out of 10, but you already knew that. How can I not give it a perfect score? Sure, only one of the three segments got a perfect score, but the other two were damn close. For me to not give this episode the score it deserves would just be me being nitpicky. It's dark, bloody, violent, hilarious, and beautifully animated. Plus it's one of the more ballsy episodes of the series. This is it the best Treehouse episode yet, and most likely the best Treehouse episode for the rest of time. The Treehouse episodes have peaked, it surely can't get better than this. Surely. 
And that's it for this episode and this review. Do you agree or disagree with my ramblings? What do you think about Trials of Horror 5? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.